entering Waterview Station. Ace it here for Minecraft Gameplay. Please remember to remain seated until the train has come to a complete stop and the exit doors head open. Thank you. Last episode, we worked on the station, and as you can see from behind me, I've moved it around a little bit because where it was was a little bit out of place, and I had the escalators going up and down on the side, and I couldn't get into the bottom into the other end of the thing. So I thought I'd move things around, and I've done a little bit of decorating on top of that, taking out the old uh, station piece that was there on this on the other side here. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Um, and we left the episode with the doors being able to open, but needing to do some redstone work to make them all work and doing some cool open computer stuff. So, let's get into that, and let's get started. Woo! Hello! <laughs> I'm really glad I'm creative. So as you can see, we've got the down and then the up. Uh, because of course we've moved the station from over here, and I've built this back up so it doesn't look like there was anything here. Uh, I just moved the station around, same design. But of course, because of the stone slabs, these guys connect up there. And I think that looks actually quite cool. We've got the clock and the rubbish bin, also from the same mod, and just there for a bit of aesthetics, really. Uh, we'll head down here, and as you can see, I've added in all, or I've Added in the two uh, escalators going down to both platforms and just made a little bit of transitioning room here like I originally was going to do in the last episode but it looks a bit better now because a bit more room and it's starting in a better place. Uh, we'll head down here. I haven't done a lot with this little hallway yet. Uh, I have also taken these and doubled them all, all the way along because before it was two the doors, then one, and then two, and then one. Now it's just two all the way, so you can see the signs finish off, which looks a lot nicer. Uh, added some lights in, and finished off the rail bits that were here. And if we head down here, I've actually... Ha Hello. Um, I've added in... Well, hollowed out this little area here. Just so we've got some area to play with redstone and what we're planting today. And I've also added some red alloy wire along the station block so that we can place one lever down. For example, we can run, we can flip that. And all the doors along this stride should now open up. Now, one of the other things I've done is I've added in a detector track so that we place down a minecart. So let's just find a cart. Uh, we'll do it over this one here. I don't know why I've got so many bats around here. Uh, I'll place that there, and the doors should open. Um, okay, I may have done something there I wasn't expecting. Let me just head down and make sure both switches are off. Which uh, one is there? And the other one, no, this is both on, that's why. We'll head up here. And now, of course, <laughs> I'm going to place it down very easily. Should be able to hopefully reach in here, place that down, and the doors will open. And of course, if we remove it, the doors are closed. But you do notice there's a small delay in there. So if the doors were opening like that, that'd be fine. You could, The train could stop. People gotta hop out. But when it goes off, we don't really want people then jumping in and trying to get on the rail while the train is moving. So what I thought we'd do is work with a little bit of open computers magic to be able to detect when there's a train in there. And we'll have to reopen that of course. And take it out. Uh, work with open computers magic to detect when there's a rail there or train there. 
and fire out some redstone along these this redstone line here so that the detector rails will fire the stuff and it'll automatically close when needed. So as you can see in my inventory, I've got most of the stuff I need, hopefully. Let's place down a computer case. Uh, I was tempted to use a creative one, but the idea of course in this series to use everything survival, so it's something you can come in here and do this yourself. Um, we don't technically need the, the tier 3, but hey, why not? Um, I'm going to place that there. We'll need a keyboard. Uh, we will need a coal generator to generate some power. And we'll go into here, place down. Oh, that's right, I'm pretty sure. Uh, put our CPU in, get rid of the brush, uh, open OS, graphics card, hard drive, memory. Don't need that. And a lure. Hopefully, that's everything we need to start her up. Let's give it. Oh, and we need some coal because we need to power the generator. So I'll place that into there with that. That gives us power. We can now turn this guy on, I hope. And you'll note this tier 3 has a built in disk drive, which means, of course, installing this will be much more easier. So while we wait for that, the idea is to use this red ally wire to detect when the train's there and ultimately open and close the door when needed. Uh, is this guy booted up? Yes, it is. Cool. Let's install the OS. Yes. Takes a little while to do it. Uh, and I'm planning on using microcontrollers. So this here is just programming up the microcontrollers at the moment. Uh, and we'll have some form of coal generator system initially. And later on we'll build some automatic stuff to pull coal in or energy in of some form. Um, I can't remember where... I think this one's the one that's got it on this side. Yeah, I think that's the the detector rail right there. How's this guy going? Slicing plate, that was good timing. So we can take the disc out and get rid of it. Uh, we will need another EE problem. So we'll program it up. Uh, what I need to do is write a program which will do what we're after. And once I'm ready, I'll come back. Is that there? Cool. All right, that's a good start. Doors open. Cool. Door should close. Awesome. Booster track. Yes. Cool. That works perfectly. So close that. Right. So we have some working code. And I've tested it to make sure it actually does do what it's meant to. Cool. Uh, as you can see here, we've got a microcontroller. And what it does is pretty simple. When it gets a signal from the detector track above it, it will then activate this redstone alloy wire. It then waits for approximately 10 seconds, beeps a couple of times in between just to let people know that the train's there or it's about to leave and then it activates this redstone wire which will activate a track up there. At the moment I've just got a basic boost track up there but we're about to change that anyway. Now the code itself we have called a door control. Um, you got to remember this is an EEPROM, so it's a basic BIOS, doesn't have all the extra OS stuff from the open computer stuff, so we do have to include extra bits in here. For example, we have the OS select command, which I've copied in from the basic library, and I've changed the computer, it's normally event.pull here, uh, which isn't available, we have to use computer.pull signal. Everything else is the same in there. Uh, we have to load up the redstone component into an object. Uh, code's pretty easy though. We loop forever. We never stop. Uh, we wait for the redstone event to change. When it changes, we do a quick beep, two beeps. We will then set the output on the side doors. Sleep for seven seconds. Beep. Wait another second. Close the side doors, so we're turning the redstone off. We then sleep for two seconds, because it takes about two seconds for the doors to close. Then we're going to activate the booster track, or the rail track, that will send, this on, uh, send the car on its way. Wait for one second, and then act, turn it off. Now we need to, of course, do this on the other side. So we will go 
stick ourselves in a E prom there. We will flash it. Yes. Door. Door control. Like that. Take that out of there. We'll go over to our assembler. Now we need to find... Um, sorry about the bat in the background. I don't know where it is. There always seems to be bats around here. But we are looking for a microcontroller. Which is one of these ones. Just a tier 1 will do. We don't need anything special. Stick that in there. We will need a CPU. Once again, tier 1 is fine. Bit of RAM. Doesn't seem to do much. Put that into there. And a redstone card. Tier 1. Stick it in there. And our EEPROM, which is this guy here. We will click the play button. Of course, in survival, you'd wait around a little while for that to happen. About 60 seconds to a minute. Uh, 60 seconds to about 2 minutes. Uh, we'll need to go all the way over to this side for this one. And now we've got a chicken in here too. Uh, we will place... Um, I think... Just take these out for a second. I believe the rail we're looking for is above here. So let's just double check that. Is that right? Yep, so there's the activator or the detector track. So take that out. We will drop down here, place that in there. And this little cave that's right next to the station. Uh, we will run a line along here. One, two. And... Turn it on. Hopefully. It's worked. And it's done. Uh, well, of course, we will need to put power in there. Uh, but at the moment, they start with their own little buffer on power. Uh, which makes it nice and easy for them to run. Uh, I'll just actually run that along here, I think. So we don't get anything spawning in here we don't want. Take these out. And so we'll just go upstairs and make sure that works. We're on this side. Up here, uh, all the way back over here. Oh, probably should put that back too, shouldn't I? Because, uh, of course, we're reading a signal from that. Place that there. Door should open. Excellent. Takes about 10 seconds. Doors will close. And in theory, if we have the other track there, it'll do its job. Um, at the moment, of course, we're still seeing a double redstone signal because I haven't seen the train on the way yet. Uh, but that's the basic piece of that. So if we go into here now, let's actually test this out properly. So let's put a rail cart track in here. So rail craft, um, I don't know why I took that out. We actually need those to be in there. Uh, we will need a start and stop track, which is... Where are they? These guys. Locking track is up after. We want a locking track. We'll stick it on top of there. We will need a, a uh, crowbar. I'll get rid of this. One crowbar to activate that. Uh, train lockdown mode. Holding mode. Probably just want... Train boarding mode facing that way, so you can see the arrow going that way. That's a much easier image to see too with the six texture. So we can just test it again. Of course, we don't need to have it on there anymore. So if we've done this correctly, this should activate. There we go, perfect. Cool. So the other thing, of course, we will, it'd be really nice to have. We will need some of those. Let's go with... For now, I'm going to go with creative locomotives. So we're going to work with these ones here later. But I'm just going with creative for now, just so we can do a proper test on this. Get all the way down here. We'll start, I don't know, about here. Should do. That's facing the wrong way, which is pretty common, I think. Yep. Uh, we'll put some rails on there. Shift, 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 shift. Gives us two of those. Yeah, we'll do for now. Uh, we will send this guy on his way. 
Um, just slowly. Hopefully, what will happen is it will come in. Slowly. I didn't put a whistle dragon. And there's the door opening. Train stops. What we're after. Looks good. And doors close. And the train goes. Excellent. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now the other thing I would like to do is when we're heading into the station. I want to place in another type of track, which is a new track that I haven't seen in Railcraft before, called the, the Messenger Track. Messenger Track, there it is. And we'll place that about there. Now this will need a permanent signal, so we will grow off and grab a lever. Or a redstone torch. I mean, oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, run those. And we'll just stick that there for now. Turn it on. Actually, let's do that. Um, drop that. And what we need to do here, now it's a really weird way of doing it. You can't actually click on this. Um, not sure why it hasn't been implemented, but you can go in and we can type RC, I think it was. R. I see. Nope. Uh, message? Nope. I see something or other. I think if we stick a train on it, it actually tells us. Maybe? Ooh! Hi, creeper! Ooh! Scared me a little bit there. Let's just do that. Join them together. In the train. No message yet. There is RC track message. Okay, so we just don't we need to stand up, but we do need to know what it is. So if we hop back into the uh, stand here. So it was RC track message. Was it? Uh, help. Okay. And what we need to do is we need to get X, Y, and Z. So, currently on 36, 4, 7, 3, 54. Because that's the block we're standing, and we're actually standing on that track. Uh, and we need to give it a bit of JSON. If anybody's done uh, modding, we'll probably know what this looks like already. So, if we go text. We will call this um, now entering water view station. I'll close that like that, and give us a confirmation that we've done that. So don't know if that worked. I may have the coordinates wrong, maybe 54, 473, negative 36. Uh, so 54, like that, maybe. There we go. So, yeah, it's uh, X, Y, Z. And then, if we hop back into here, we'll send this guy in reverse. Uh, now entering Waterview Station. So what we can actually do, of course, on top of that, is get rid of this piece. And we can change the next one to Waterview Station. Oops. That's not what I wanted at all. Waterview Station. And we can apparently go Subtitle. Yeah, if we go forward, actually, let's go forward a bit, a 
backwards a bit more. And then we'll turn that off, hit go into there. Now entering Waterview Station. Cool. Very, very cool. And of course, if we get to the end of the line here. Doors opened. Of course, being here is not very helpful. Because there's a piece there. But Cool. Alright. Like it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the episode here. If you've enjoyed the episode or found anything of use, please remember to hit that like button. If you can do the channel and like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. Any questions, comments, suggestions, or wanna ask me what's next? Leave a comment down below. But otherwise, have a great day and see ya!